hello, hello, hello. Uh, welcome to all UFC stuff where people punch the living shit out of each other or for entertainment. Um, yeah, um, just sorting out my settings. Here we go. Fight modes. Just replying to a message. Charlie, fuck off, please. Right, we are going to start off with the Ruth bracket to eliminate some more people. And the first match is the battle for Ireland, essentially. With uh, Alistair over me, mostly by Steve. Against Billy was by Derek Lewis. Da, 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 that's all cool. Da, let's go. Where's the chat? Where's the chat? Where's um, yeah, so this bracket big fight in in the Irish eyes, Irish eyes even. Just trying to stall here. I'm doing things. Um, do it, Cruz. What he's showing against Daniel Cormier in real life. So it'd be interesting to see uh, how he gets on. Um, Daniel Cormier, probably one of the best fighters in USA, in my opinion. Good on striking and on the ground. Um, there's a tad of tape. Uh, I've been with a slight reach of ice, not much, but enough. Lewis not winning to tight gloves. <coughs> well, nice head kick from Lewis and a good punch to follow up. Ooh, I really went for the uh, pin. So take that attempt already in this reverse by the way. And off already. Really kicks there. Nice combo there from Lewis puts to enough out and a great return combo from Overeem is walk to lose a little bit. Lewis doing a little cheek there. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. Uh, head moving there from everyone. Can't go. Kicks Lewis straight in the face. And he's a take down attempt from Lewis, but it's been countered by Overeem again. And he's going to the back and he's trying for the hammer fist and a punch to the face, and Lewis rolls out of it. Body kick. 
really good first round for both of these fights so far. Mm. Both of them though getting clocked there by Lewis. Lewis once again for going for a takedown. And once again going for a takedown, I want to again over him as candidate and now he's on top in the spool. But it stands up, kicks him in the knee. Over him willing to stand up and fight where Lewis more than happy to uh, part in the ground. Oh, over him's going to make a good team here. That was a great counter. Over the right time. He rolls over, this could be curtains. Oh no, Lewis just escapes. Just. Over he managed to stay on top and um, goes into side control and he stands up again. And that's the end of the round. Over him almost winning it there at the end of the first. But uh Lewis doing just enough to escape the uh the guillotine, guillotine choke. That's a nice head kick there from Lewis. Trade for uppercuts there. Uh, hello, viewer who was watching. I <laughs> uh, don't know who it is, but hello. So it's round two. This time actually and straight away first gets a kick straight to the face. Bit of a cheap move there from Overeem but well, it's done. there's a nice combo there from uh, Lewis to return. Oh, Tiger in there from Overeem. So we can do is look for that guillotine again and gets it off again. And Lewis slips out this time. Oh, and Hammer Fist. Good measure. But Overeem does well to flip that transition. Nice punches there from Overeem. Double fist, the double like punch that was mad from over him. Lewis keeps taking over him to the ground, but over him keeps getting that actually the better hand off when on the ground. Um no. We're gonna be proving there, but no. Nope, Lewis firing out of it this time at the uh, translation change. He has some hits in Lewis, but not enough to. Uh, once again, transition there from five wing. Could be what wins him the five, he goes to the judges to refer. That and a uh, submission attempt as well. Another transition change, I don't know. Rolling around the mat, these two are. And once again, here we go. And over he was in uh posh up there and top in a top man, but I don't know. It has been a battle for the ground. So. I'm going to spend the last 10 seconds on the standing up, I guess. Just staring each other, I guess. So a small leg kick from a over him to turn the ground. That's 
They can't really. To trade of uh, hooks there. Over him connecting. Yep, over him. Being told he's a head in the fight thanks to his groundwork. I agree with that. And here we go for round three. Uh, no touching gloves at the start. Lucy just punched him to go over, over him's head there. Oh, into the Tycan engine, that was a good uh, headshot there. Body shot as well. Knee to the body. Over him's in control with the inner tiger inch. In control in total, actually, to be fair. Seen in previous fights, Lewis gets into the kinch and throws. But over him doing well here to uh, fight off the throws. Lewis just tried there for a judo, a judo throw. Over him looking for a uh, outside trip there, weren't to be. And Lewis looking for his, uh, an outside trip of his own, and again. Round two is a battle on the ground, or round three is a battle in the clinch. With knee to the body there, that's a dangerous knee as well, because Lewis let go. And Lewis once again going for the takedown. He's not going to work for him though, again. In there and oh, Lewis is down. Allowed to get up though, over him, give him space to get up. I think over him though, he's in control here. Once again, he's trying for the takedown, it's not to be. And over him, letting him up. Stand this man up. Just tripped there on the uh, jumping knee attempt from Don't Lewis. Another leg kick, that uh, left leg of Lewis is getting damaged really bad, as well as his head. Over him's just putting on a kick. Oh my god, that's gotta be it. I thought that was it for Lewis. He went for the takedown and Over him just kneed him in the fucking face. If Lewis wins this on decision, I'm gonna be absolutely flabbergasted. It's the end of round three. I mean, over him, pretty much dom dominated. <laughs> that knee to the face there. I thought that was it. I thought that was it for Lewis. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. 29, 27, 30, 26, and 30, 26. To find the winner, by unanimous decision, Alistair Very cool, over and goes through. And that's Biddy out, champions out. If him goes through it in your face, do you lose or of uh, Mark Hunt and Ben Ruffle?
Now it's Owen with Kimbo Rice against me with Mirko Krokop. Kimbo Rice, oh, uh, Krokop. Battle of the Legends here, essentially. Well, Kimbo Rice not known for his UFC record, but as added like a legend in the fight scene business as such, he uh, yeah, he's a, he's a well known name. Maybe there's a guy who beat Kimbo Slice in a fight in one of his famed street fights, and so, uh, he got signed up by UFC and he turned out to be absolutely shit. But his name I cannot remember for the life of me. <laughs> Krokop choked out um Mama, uh fucking Mago Madoff in the first in his first loser bracket fight. That's a mouthful for mid safe, Jesus. So Krokop, good on the ground. Kimbo Swass got a massive reach watch though. So might have playing through his hand, keeping Krokop at distance here, not trying to go onto the ground or Kinch maybe, but not to the ground, as proven in the last fight with Krokop getting a submission win. Here we go, no touch cross. Being out of the process here. Ass kick from Croco up and he gets a combo of two to the face from Kimbo Slice. <laughs> it's a good, well, if it was anywhere near him, it was a good touch from Kimbo Slice, but nowhere near him. Training leg kicks there, and a head kick from Croco up. Both showing intent, just landing the right shots. Like that, that's a fantastic uppercut from Kimbo Slice, and he comes in with a flying jab, it looks like. Krokop looks a little bit rocked. Hasn't <laughs> There's not really much going on in the fight, so Dodge and Krokop and Krokop goes down. Oh, looking for the clinch there slice, but um Krokop throws him off. Oh like, good defence there from Slice. I was expecting to give a slice to be a bit, in a little bit of trouble if he went to the ground, but Krokop challenged him to come to the ground and give us ice is like, no. But, uh, he ended a bit of a stalemate here actually. Oh, this could be dangerous for Krokop, he's allowed him to push in. Krokop kicks him off in the end. It's that guard is not what wanted, it's not what Krokop wanted to be fair. I caught him there somewhere with something. I think it was a jab. Left hand jab. Definitely walked very quite a little bit. Jabbed him again. Kimber Slice taking round one here. If a surprise. But see what happens in round two. Don't 
a note down. Round two, touch goes again. Good dodge there from Craig up the start around. Oh my god, that overhand right from Kimbo Swice. Rocked Craig up and Craig down. This is Craig up's in trouble there. Kimbo Swice getting this ground pound off, he's. Good. Oh my god, I'm gonna say he's in good position, but. That was a great uh, transition there from Craig up. Using his ground game there. Let's see if he can actually use it now if Kimbo Swice is gonna. He's really got some ground game of his own. Still in he's in full guard now, to say still in our card, quite cool. In half in full guard now. And Kimbo Swice. Monkey see monkey do. That's a great transition from Kimbo Swice though. I didn't expect him to pull out of his rocker. Quick up now, grabs, slices back. Swice went to try to slip out of it, but Quick up remains in control for back inch, then into side control. Just trying to get into the spool, came up slice, trying to stand up maybe. Yep. Don't know if he's trying to get into the clinch with you two and just stand up and try to just to just stand up. Body kick from Croco is against the cage here. That's a nice dodge. That's a hook. Oh, Croco is going to head kick Croco, but it's keeping him blocked. He needs to catch him off guard. Like that. Oh my god, he's knocked him out. Kimber Slice drops like a fucking. He folds like a deck chair. Crocop goes through to the next round, and Kimber Slice is out. Crocop famed for these uh, head kicks. Connects perfectly there. Kicks him in the back of the head, it looks like. And just, yeah, that was it. That's curtains for Kimber Slice. Folded like a bit of paper. Boom. So Kimbo Slice goes out. Kimbo Slice definitely dominated that fight as well. So, for Crow Cops or Pellouts like that just shows you how dangerous those kicks really are. Just a straight knockout. <coughs> Now we're going to go to the winners uh, bracket. I will finish the tournament in this stream slash video. There's like one, two, three, four, five. It's eight fights, but well, it depends on how quickly they go, really. But I'd like to finish it in this one. And this site comes up right out of the blue. So now we've got Ben Muffle and Mark Hunt. This is Cameron versus Kyle. The loser of this will face Steve and LSD over him. The winner will go into the winner's bracket. Final. First turn of Cormier and Miochik. Who is next? So Mark Hunt facing a reach challenge probably. Yep, no surprise there. But he's won two fights already, so, so showing that reach that means shit.
I got a touch cross and off they go. <coughs> this whole fee in that process to begin with. Oh my god. The little combo there from Mark Hunt connects it and it's worked well for a little bit. Overhand and an uppercut or not. Before, yep, needed to do that. You just getting pummeled there. Huh? You can even get pummeled even more, it seems. Mark Hunt done well to uh, block the uh, take down attempt. Oh, went for spinny back fist there, Mark Hunt, but got punched while doing it. Oh, we connected there with the backhand though. Bowman before in trouble. Lucky as I got before Mark Hunt could pounce him though. Got a second in it. Got enough of throwing off by Mark Hunt as well there. Yeah, take an attempt. White overhand's got some power in it. Better connect to there, like, might have been it. Nice hobby cut there. Hopefully, we need to get some attacks going off. That's just, that's, that's a good start. Double leg takedown. I can't know. Escape pretty much straight away. One punch, one or two punches, but go out pretty quick. See where the game plan and Buffalo is going for those. Oh my god. See, what the, see the game plan Mark Hunt's going for, and it's, it's awesome to win. <laughs> it's a great combination, there's that overhand again, connecting and knocking out Buffalo. Oh, it's an uppercut, then the uh, jab. And the uh, kick there what was overhand, my bad. Other card connected, the jab pushed him back into the cage, and the kick would have definitely knocked him out if he had connected properly. Then Mark Hunt comes in just to finish off the fight with a few punches to the face before Herb Dean can get involved. Mark Hunt's done surprisingly well. I don't think many would have got him, seen him got this far, I mean, he faced Tim Johnson, which was a close fight to be fair, Sogfest, faced Kimber Sias, another Sogfest, faced Ben Ruffo, if he tried to take it to the ground, he done well to shrug off the uh, challenge of going to the ground, but next he will face the winner of the next fight, which is Steve Homiotrick, represented by Natalie, or Daniel Cormier, represented by Wyan. We're both very good at ground game as well as stand up. So that'd be a true test for uh, uh, Mark Hunt in the final of the winner's bracket. That means Ben Waffle will face Anistia Ophraim in the loose bracket semis. <coughs> and uh, the loser of this will face me and Mirko Krokop in the other semi final of the loser's bracket. This would I would I would assume that one of these two, or maybe Alistair Overeem, would be in the final. So 
for Steve Mitchell, massive reach advantage over Cormier, but we'll see if that plays into advantage or not. Body killer from Cormier. Oh, that's the first take on the 10, but Mucic quick to react. Good leg kick. It's blocked over and it's a massive, uh, oh my god this could be it right here. If Kormay didn't try for a takedown he might have ended the fight there but he tried to take him down. I don't think you expect him to hit him so hard. Literally fell against the cage. I don't know if he try for a takedown straight after or what but he's not standing at all that well. Body kick. Good combo from Cormier. He comes to take that one. Nope. Cormier looking for a Superman punch but got punched in the face before he could get a punch off. Nice little jab there. Oh, nice head kick from Yotrick. <coughs> I feel like whoever can successfully get the first take done off will be in a great position. It's just who it seems to be coming at the moment. Coming seems to be going for a bit more. And here we go. Nice quick single leg. Going to the north south position, 69 position. And Stinney's, we've seen Cormier in this position before, he used to go to the Americana. No, it's back in the side control. He's smashing his forearm against the face of Mutri. And that's the end of round one. Can be smoke blood in the water there. That straight jab to the face, and if you didn't go for a takedown, match might be over. It's overhand from Kumi as well. Both scored a takedown in that uh, last round, if memory serves me correct. Both probably being told by the camp the same thing of a uh, keep doing what you're doing. Not touch cross around too. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't see if they touch cross on it in the first round, so Coming's come out as come well, I say Coming came out with the uh gate strong but got caught with a uh, one shot there from Yotrick and Naughty's balance a little bit. In the clinch, see what happens there. <coughs> nice trip from Cormier. Got a pound slide there a little bit there, but weren't enough. No trick here, trying to transition into full guard and does. It's a great move there. 
But come here looking for a guillotine here. If he can knock his legs around the trick, this could be it. Yes, Dante. He's definitely got it on now. And there's a tap, and that's the uh, ring for Gormier. It's quite an even bout toward a clinch side. And then, yeah, here we go. <coughs> Thanks, Gormier. Second submission for history. Arm bar in the last round. Guillotine here. Cormier now versus Mark Hunt in the winners final and Krokop versus Miotric in the semis final loser bracket. We're gonna go to the loser bracket now actually. The first semi final being Rothball versus Overmeam. And then Miotric who just lost there versus Krokop. Conflict of styles because last round Waffle went to go to the ground. When the last fight, sorry, Waffle went to go to the ground. In the last fight, all of them would stand and fight, so. Same height, same weight. I think it's a small reach of actually. And let's get into it. Let's touch cross. Ruffle starts off with a body kick. Great jab there. That's so bad from Vanus Over. I thought I'd dox under those two, or the one two combo from Overmeme. To get an elbow to the face though. Went for the Superman punch, but before thanks to it and ended up kicking in a leg kick off, I should say. Some nice f head kick there from Overmeme. Sorts whatever Ruffle was planning to do. to the cage. I think I'm sure that really was in the cage in his last fight against Derek Lewis. And there's a knee to the body. A knee to the face. Oh, we're fourth card a little bit. That's a kick. Off the retainer of one of his own. Oh, that, if that can answer, that might have done some damage. Might have been done well to duck underneath it. I was really meant to go to the ground this time. For just a second there, but we thought like, no, mate. Waffles against Overeem again. Oh, Waffles got Overeem against the cage, should I say. 
Oh, and it's like guillotine again. But it's probably through in the last fight. Second guillotine win in the world. That's what he's rolled over. Before he needs to do something desperate here. Oh, that's a tap. Over him with another guillotine win. And another guillotine win. Two on the trot now. And successive matches. Ruffle goes out, Carl goes out, and Steve with Overeem looking very confident. Overeem's dangerous, dangerous man. Especially gets that guillotine on you. That's it. Change violence. So now we've got Mirchik versus Krokop. Win of this or face Overeem. Gonna be a tough battle for Overeem either way. Mewtrick and we've got Crack Up. There's a few fires that Spice wasn't chosen. The likes of Kane uh, Fascales or Francis and Goo. Don't know if that's pronounced your name or not. <laughs> um obviously Francis and Negu Negu Nagan Nagan <laughs> <laughs> I'm butchering his name. But um, yeah, as far as he wasn't trying to consider, he's also a new fighter on UFC 3. And obviously, Kane Fasculer is always a shout. Let's <coughs> tear the tape. But we actually just going to have a massive reach for each other for Crow Cop. So you can put it to use. In the fight, off we go. Get that cross. I can see this may be ending in a submission for someone. I'm just not sure who. Both are good at submissions. I see Quick Ops really want if a submission with a triangle choke. Never can up me a trick. Excuse me. Oh, Wait for the ass cake and misses. Nice dodge on me a trick. Both missing there. It's a nice jab and follow by an elbow there almost, but it to be. And he goes to the ground. Nope. We've got throws Mewtrick off. Quick going for a take down there, but want to be. Oh, what's a nice head kick from your trick. Quick up, missed his. Your trick definitely didn't. Quick up's doing well to dodge these attacks though. I managed to get pushy way back into the middle of the, uh, the cage. Against the, he was against the cage then, that's a dangerous place. Especially after that heavy head kick. We've seen the power of Krokop's head kicks as he knocked out Kimbo Slice in the last time. Or in his last time. Some trades here and there. It's a nice overhand though from Krokop. Mm 
We could have done more well, to catch the, uh, the leg of Mewtrick and ended up punching his face. And that'll be the end of round one. <coughs> Mewtrick been told to take Crowhop down. Sure, that might be a good deal or not. We'll see if Mewtrick listens or not, though. <coughs> and they touch cross around to it. Oh, that overhand again from uh, Crocop. The ass kick from Croakman, he landed straight on the top of Mewtrick's head and he's definitely stunned him a little bit there. Mewtrick doing well to cover up. He went for a head kick there, Croakman and got punched in the face before he could get it off. It's a nice jab there from, well it's a hook I think it was from Mewtrick, that definitely what Croakman. And he comes to take that one. into a full guard number. Last time someone got Crow Cop into full guard he ended in a triangle choke. So see if Mewtrick can actually see that come in and escape it before it happens. And I Crow looking to transition to his own uh, top mount. He pushes up. He has pushed it up, that's a hammer fist, there's an elbow, there's another hammer fist, all blocked, oh that definitely wasn't blocked. Caught me right in the face there. Body shot, face shot, another face shot. Me actually like, got Krokot's back, Krokot looking to slip out there but it wants to be. Mewtrick on top now. On top out. He's in side control. Doing well to know that Krokop slip away. I got into the spalled position. And Krokop stood up. That's the aspect again that misses this time. Nice combo from Mewtrick. Crocop's definitely in trouble. There's another take down. His second safety won't do much, but he'll score points in his favour. Again. <laughs> 
That's head kick, but I don't know if the same power that knocks out Kimba Slice in the last one. That's a nice leg kick, and there's nobody from Krokop and Mjotrix looking to escape into the onto the ground, but Krokop stopped it and was taking a bit of abuse there. Mjotrix, Krokop's coming to his final rounds. <laughs> he needs to as well. So I think Mjotrix might win it if he goes to the judges for now. Oh, I don't know what connects with Mjotrix there, but something did. That jab definitely did. <coughs> Mewtwo sure just out on his feet. We've got, we've got to give him against the cage here. What are you trying to do? I oh, know. We've got Don Mel to try and get off the cage for a little bit, but Mewtwo sure just forced him against the cage. First one of them, Quirk Hopper now, Mewtwo against the cage. It's good for Mewtwo, not good for Quirk Hop. Someone's looking for a throw, I'm not sure who though. Mewtwo is doing a great game plan here. What's he thinking he's won? He's going to keep Krokop occupied there. Can't do anything if he keeps gra him grappling against the cage. And that is the end of the fight. I personally think Stipe and Mewtwo won that fight. Especially for heck of that. Let's see what the judges say. goes through and my me and my guy quick up go out. So at least a rematch of the uh, winners of the quarterfinals in the winners bracket over in Mutric. There's four people left now. Four people that can win it. We're going to see two of them in this next fight. So it's the winners bracket final between Mark Hunt, represented by Cam, and Cormier, represented by Ryan. One of these will go to the grand final. One of these will have to take the long route round. I think this fight will favour both fires actually because they're both run about the same height. So reach won't be really paid a matter as such. Both got the same reach, so yeah. I think it's be a rarity for both Mark Hunt and Daniel Cormier to fight someone that is roughly the same height as them, same reach. I think he might play more into Mark Hunt's hands though, as we all know he's got a very powerful punch on him, as proven last three fights. 
jumping kick to begin with though for Mark Hunt. Obviously he's looking to get into that final for Cameron. Mark Hunt wasn't chosen at all in UFC 2 so... But that's the first big take down from Daniel Cormier. He was always chosen in UFC 2. If you can see those tournaments on my channel actually. Looking for that Americana maybe. Cormier, no. Definitely got kind of a punch in the face though, it definitely connected. Mark Hunt needs to get this fight off the ground to stand any chance, because Gomez is having his way with Mark Hunt at the moment. Doing well to block Mark Hunt though. Don't need so much arms to take though. Kumas is dropping bombs at the moment. Mark Hunt trying to get up, but Kume not letting him. And now Kume getting into the top mount. Oh, he's going for an armbar here. Switching things up from the ground pound to a submission. I wonder what Kume is good with submission. What's what Kume is not good with submissions, I should say. It's really made someone tap out to an armbar. And that's going to be the same fate again for Mark Hunt. If he can not escape here, he's lost, lost the look of his hands, and there we go. Daniel Cormier makes Mark Hunt tap out. Cormier making Doe Cruz tap out to the armbar. Made Mutrius tap, tap out to the guillotine. They've made Mark Hunt tap out to the uh, armbar as well. Cormier goes through to the final. Now who would meet him there? Three people looking to face him in the final. But we'll see two of them in a sec. Them two being Alistair Overeem and Stipe Mutrik. He's fought early in the tournament, you can see that in part one. And Mutrik won that match. Obviously yes. Overeem was in the loose tournament. So here we go, this is the rematch. Mjodrik and Overeem Would it be the same fate for Overeem or Overeem get another guillotine win? Tell the tape, roughly about the same height, about the same reach. Yep. Over him a little bit heavier though. Ready fight. Ready. Fight. They don't touch close. Oh, a bit of bad blood there. Well, both went for a head kick there. I think Mutrix got his off, whereas Overeem didn't. Overeem 
Everything's jab going over Mutrix is dead. Mutrix hitting the first takedown of the fire. Both good on the ground though, so we'll see what happens. Overeem rolls into the uh, half guard. Nice transition. And Mutrix does well to escape. Both stand up. Two very equal fighters, and two people could both easily challenge Cormier in the final. One of these got to get through Mark Hunt first before I can get to Cormier. Must have been in back over there. For a knee, we got jabbed. Nice overhand though, there from uh, Overeem. Like a ball there, going for the charge, want to take down, but we should just let them go fast. Let's get there. Oh, I don't know what the hell Mewtwo was going for there. I was trying to. Well, it was some kind of weird single leg takedown. Over him, stopped him either way. He stopped that overhand there coming through. It's a nice uh, overhand there from Mjotrik. I've got a flying knee though, I but Pink's better with it. Nice uppercut. Body kick there from over him. Oh, it's a nice 1 2 3 combo there. Yes, it is, Spitty. Don't you start. <laughs> oh, Megalo. Uh, Overeem almost knocked out there. Being distracted by Betty. And that's the end of round one. One, two, three combo there that I'm not done over him. And his hands up, but one enough. And he comes round two. Mitchie wanted to touch close, but both of him's like, fuck off, mate. And he kicks him in the face for good measure. Mitchie doing well to cover up there. Oh, and there goes, there goes over him. Pushed up against the cage, but over him's back up. Very good, both, there. Yeah, a good start for both fighters in round two. Both kill a knockdown, there's another knockdown from Mjotrik and this could be it here. Gets the punches off but both him quick to get up. I was taking a few punches to the face there. Very exciting start for round two in this fight. Let's see if you can get the advantage in the clinch here. Mjotrik is in tie here. It's a knee to the body. Punch of his ribs, followed by another one. Punch of the head. Over him to do something here, he's getting pummeled. Over well, him trying for a trip there. Cheeky trip, where want to be. Nope, try it again, there want to be. Punch in the face. Over him to Tonki, he's got needs in the face and he just lets go to the clinch straight away. Nice leg kick though. It's opened Mewtrick up a little bit there. But, 
So also over and over him, over him to get punched in the face. Over him goes back down again. Managed to once again to escape the uh, punishment from Miochuk. Managed to survive a little bit longer. Good turn though from over him. Gets Miochuk against the cage. If he can get some damage off here. Him against the occasion here now, and which is raining bombs down. I think we've got a tire though, might be against the cage, but he's still in tire. Which let's go. A wild overhand from your trick. Uh, no I'm not. Well I don't intend to anyways. Blops is, a, I mean, Blops is my favourite cod series but... Meh. Don't K me. <laughs> it's like total disrespect. <laughs> Quit saying anything. Uh, yeah, Miotric definitely winning the fight. Let's we'll see if he can carry it through with think and pull something out. Let's we'll see what Santa brings. I don't intend again, Bobs. And he's got and comes around for you. I mean, for. Oh! <laughs> I'll make a low. To be fair, the battle world mode on uh, Blackout. Is it called Blackout? It's pretty cool. Seen a few streamers play it. Overeem's in trouble here. He looks out on his feet. to block the uh, takedown attempt. I don't particularly though, want to play 40 pound belly for a better world game. I think Zofi and I want to pay to get out of this fight because he's getting bullied. And that's got to be it, yep. Got uppercutted and that was the end. The replay of that knockout from Miotric. Miotric once again beats Overeem and this time Overeem goes out of the tournament. And there goes Steve's chances of winning. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Billy got, it, got him in the chat. Oh, Fucking Billy wins the fucking fight. See Mewtrick again in the losers bracket final now against Mark Hunt.
seems to be a massive height advantage. And a massive reach advantage in this fight. So Mark Hunt can handle it. Done it before. That's why he's here. No person he's fought though that was the same height as him he got dominated by, so. Let's see what happens. You can clearly see the high varnish is ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, misses and he actually gets the first take down of the fight. Oh, it's Kabir here. Literally, ominous mark on the ground. I can't know, does well to roll over there and get into the full guard. And Mio Miochik slips out there. Pretty smart, because Mark Hunt's got a lot of power in those punches. Having a punch up, Mark Hunt is <laughs> slightly funny, not gonna lie. Spinning back fist, can't see it, and the second one did too. Mirchi though, managed to get up before Hot Hunt does too much damage to him. Seven twenty back fist, basically from Mark Hunt there, it connected both times. This now getting pummeled by Mirtrick. This Mirtrick's turn to lay some damage down. My client needs to get away from the cage to start off with. A quarter of a jab there, and there goes the going down to Mirtrick. Great to go up there for my client to jump on him. Oh, and that's that back fist again. Spinning back fist. Keeps connected with me, a trick. Trying to go for the takedown, but Mark Hunt counters it out and gets into the back clinch now and delivers a hammer fist for letting me trick up. It's a great first round for both of them. That seven was well, the second spinning back fist that took down the uh, new trick there. <laughs> My can't being told to do takedowns. I don't think. He needs to, to be fair, just keep spinning on the spot, like a Tasmanian devil. Oh, normally it's a touch cross, Mark Hunt coming out spinning already. It's a jumping kick off as well. Mark Hunt can keep this fight standing up, he has a chance to. With Mark Hunt on characteristic, he goes for a takedown. Oh, Mirtrick caught the like, leg of Mark Hunt and took another in the face, and there's another elbow. Followed up by a 
a jab to the floor, a hook I should say, a hook slash uppercut, punch. Don't really know what it was, but whatever it was, it connected in the face. It's caused my punt to fall down. Matrix in a good position here. Mark on doesn't even better though to escape that position. Just to get away from the cage though. Oh, that's that jumping kick again. <coughs> oh, that. Oh. Oh, the overhand. And the jab to the face, knocked down, and again. That jab definitely connected. It's the lucky the uppercut missed, though, otherwise that could have been it. He tried for the back fist, but he stopped halfway through. Oh, Mirchi got clocked left, something, and Mirchi goes down. Someone's gonna get knocked out fairly here, and I'm not sure who, because they're both hand landing. Massive blows. Oh, and there goes Mirtrick, and this could be it. This is it. Mirtrick's out. In more ways than one. Go. Mark Hunt goes through to the grand final to face Daniel Cormier. That's a jab there. Just Connects with Mjotrik's face and he's dropped. Boom. Folded like. Don't know. Why that thing's to that fold now. But uh. Mark can't fill us up quickly enough and that's it. So Mark Hunt gets his rematch against Daniel Cormier in the grand final. Cameron, first tournament he's been in, gets to the grand final. Could be his first title. Or will Ryan become a two-time UFC simulation champion? We're about to find out. Cormier Hunt, grand final, let's go. Call me first sight this is all in my walls. Same height. Oh, coming to a little bit taller but same reach anyways, so And here we uh, go. Not wanting to touch gloves, Cormier. Wants to win this. Get it started and dusted. Uh, he's full a little bit earlier in, in the stream. Um, not we'll see. Cormier won see but he's in the final and more comes in the loose bracket. So that's, uh, that's logic really. Uh, Cormier making Mark Hunt tap out. So you can do the same. And it's a great takedown from Cormier. And here we go. Mericon maybe? No. Cormier wants to be wants to be on the ground. Here comes D Mercon or <coughs> made Mercon tap at once already, like I said, so you can do it again. Dude, it's not, not just does not look good for Mark Hunt. Oh, that's a 
very short final. Um, Daniel Comey wins, and Ryan becomes two time UFC simulation champion. What should I say about that final, really? It was very quick. Comey got a takedown in, controlled a little bit, and then asked for a look on the Americano. Need I say more? Now though, though, we do have to listen to Ryan brag about being two-time simulation champion again. Well, no, two-time simulation champion. He's really bragging about being a two-time heavyweight champion, so... Let the bragging begin, on his part. Right. <coughs> Next end of the stream, end of the video. Thanks, Billy, for Ladies being here for the end of the video. And I'll catch you all soon with another stream, another tournament. Until then, let's go maybe in Victor. I'll catch you guys in a bit. See you later. Adios.